Hey what's good guys, this is Zach and I'm back with XDA TV. So if you like customizing your Android device as much as I do, then you definitely clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 free high quality icon packs that you may or may not have heard of, and I feel that these are worth adding to your collection. All of these packs will be listed down below in the description, so make sure that you check them out. Cue the intro. Starting out with the Desaturate Icon Pack. With this pack, we've got nearly 1,500 icons alongside over 150 wallpapers. So obviously, you can tell that they're going for a much darker look here with these icons, and their main objective, as they say, is to show color where it's needed and desaturated where it's not needed. So if you're not a big fan of the big, bright, and colorful icons, and you need something that's a little more chill, a little more easy on the eyes, this is definitely the one to check out. Now, I do have to say that the wallpapers included here match the icons perfectly. These icons would go perfectly with an all black wallpaper. And I gotta say, it's really nice to see an icon pack that you don't normally see in everyone's setup. This pack is definitely one of a kind. Now, if you are a fan of the big, bright, colorful icons, and you don't need something that's a little easier on the eyes, you're going to want to check out the Kype icon pack. In the free version here, we're looking at over 750 icons along with 28 cloud-based wallpapers. This icon pack is sure to brighten up any home screen, especially with this dope BB-8 wallpaper included in the pack. The icons have a nice, high quality, and super clean material design that's easily going to please any pure Android fan. Now, Kype Prime. While it does cost you a couple pennies, it's going to get you a lot more icons to mess around with. But nonetheless, the free version here is more than enough to get you a nice, colorful, fresh look on your home screen. Third pack on the list is Fluxo, at least I think that's how you say it. We've got 2200 high definition icons with more on the way as promised by the developer, and we've also got 20 different wallpapers to go along with them. So with this icon pack, we're looking at a very unique presentation. I do like how the pack compensates for the icons that aren't fully supported yet, so you don't have stray unthemed icons hanging all over the place. As you can expect, we've got a decent collection of wallpapers included here, not the best that I've seen, but they do work well with the icons, that's for sure. So if you're looking for something a little different, perhaps something more cartoon-like, then definitely give this one a shot. Alright, so second to last, we've got Pixbit. Now, if you're looking for something that'll bring you back to the days of those 8 and 16-bit video games we all know and love, then this is the one to get. With this pack, we've got over 330 different icons and just 10 wallpapers. This icon pack just screams retro. It's definitely something that's a little different, but it's totally worth a download if you're a fan of pixels like I am. Pixbit really isn't for everyone, but if you're curious about how your home screen would look with a little touch of the past, then give this one a shot. All right, so last but not least, we've got the VIT or VIT icon pack. Now this one here is actually one of my new favorites, mainly because it leaves no icon behind. Every icon is masked, even if it's not 100% supported yet. This pack has over 2,000 icons with a little over 30 wallpapers to match. Yes, the shape of the icons do look a little familiar, but overall I am digging the white and gray theme here. These icons were designed for QHD displays, so you can expect them to look great on just about any device. This icon pack is sure to breathe new life into any home screen, and it's definitely worth a download. Well, that does it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the XDA channel if you haven't already. You can also check me out on YouTube at my tech channel, Easy Tech 231 But that does it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.